have you shot your final scenes yet? And are you happy with how things ended? Yes. <laughs> she didn't say yes. You didn't say yes. Best season ever. <laughs> Without telling us anything, because I know you can't, is are you all happy with the way you think, with the outcome of the show? Personally, I think it's the fray. It's a little bit of Avengers Assemble, and it's a little bit kind of like. Well, that was totally what season seven was all about, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Character development? <laughs> Lob it all Story. in. Story. <laughs> but it. I really need to shut up. You're there, brave. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I, I don't know but, no, but, but no, but that's what Joe's not going to be in Star Wars. No, but this I couldn't let you go without asking you a little question about Game of Thrones. Sure. If you could describe the season finale of Game of Thrones in one word, how would you describe it? Disappointing. <laughs> Disappointing. <laughs> no. no, epic. I don't epic. know. One of those ones. It's terrifying down there. We're in a crypt. Nobody thought of that. He's bringing all the dead people back to life, and they put the women and children in a crypt with all the dead people. So, rah. Tyrion is smart, but I guess not that smart. But I hate to tell you that, unfortunately, Barrison is gone. Were you so, gutted about that on a I personal level? I was gutted. I was gutted because, uh, I mean, a number of you, I'm sure, have read the books, and uh, I've read the books. And I had reason to expect, oh, I've got a journey here. In fact, yeah. if I'm honest, I thought, oh, I'm really looking forward to this season. Yeah. I'm going to have more to do. I'm going to get my teeth into something I'm really looking forward to. Did you have I words? Did you say anything to well, them? Well, I did, I did ask and, and uh, give an argument why I thought Barrison should stay. But at the end of the day, I mean, you know, Dan and David, you know, they, they've worked out what they wanted to do. Yeah. You know, if you've planned your book that the butler did it, and then you read an internet, someone has figured out that the butler did it, and you suddenly change in midstream, and it was the chambermaid who did it, mm. then you screw up the whole book, because you get these, this foreshadowing early on, and you've got these little clues you planted, now they're dead ends, and you have to introduce other clues, and you're retconning, it's a mess. We hope to kind of avoid the expected, and Jon Snow has always been the hero, the one who's been the savior, but it just didn't seem right to us for this for this moment. How do you feel about the way that it ends? Um, there are no better writers in television than Dan Weiss and David Benioff. They ended it brilliantly, better than I could have imagined. And uh, you people are in for it. <laughs> you people are in for it.